Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, this is my full uh, cabinet. It is pretty much done now. Uh, so, just to kind of go over it, uh, for the glass doors, I got it all fixed out. Um, I just have a piece of wood here that is shaped kind of like a T. Um, and then up here, shaped like an L. L. And that seems to work pretty well. Um, have it all shaped and everything. It took a while. Um, but we just have some screws holding it in. Uh, looks pretty good. And then we have some quarter round uh, holding the glass in place to keep it like right next to the top of the thing. Hold on, hold on. I love doing this. Pow! Okay, sorry. Um, animal abuse. Yeah, but here it is. Um, I'll just kind of show you what it looks like with the gecko in there. Here's my Belle albino female. She's looking fine today. Um, yeah, lighting. I have this little tropical UV light. Um, I'll probably get a desert one, but this is just something that I had with me. And it gives a full spectrum UV, I think. So, it works great. Um, I had to take out the little halogen lights because they were heating everything up way too hot. It made, like, the cage over 100 degrees, so I didn't think that was going to work. So, I took all those out. And that made me feel like a failure. But, yeah, replaced it with that light. Um, and I'm going to get some chicken wire just to go across that to make sure that nothing can get out, like crickets or anything. Um, and then right here I have a speaker cover uh, from an old speaker. And it's just a big hole. Just a big hole for ventilation. And yeah, for the background, I used paper mache and then uh, grouted it, then painted it. Turned out really, really nice and well and everything. Got some fake plants. Um, yeah. All secure. And then for down here, have the styrofoam little ledge thing that they can climb up and down on. Uh, got their hiding spot, got red LED back there. LEDs do not get hot, so I do not have to worry about them burning themselves. Water dish, and people have been asking, how am I going to clean out the water dish? Well, I'll just take a shop vac, which is basically just a vacuum, and just suck it all out. Uh, get an old toothbrush or a new toothbrush, whatever. Um kind of clean it out, rinse it, like repeat, rinse and repeat, and then fill it back up, then it'll be nice and clean. Um, got some fake roots up there, um, looks really nice. And I'll do a full video of all this whenever I actually put the geckos in here for good. Um, for heat, I had this 20 feet, 23 foot heat cable. And I didn't know it was 23 feet when I bought it, so it goes like all the way around my chameleon cage. Um, so that actually turned out kind of good. And then it have I, I, oh my gosh, I have it hooked up to a thermostat under there, uh, so I can monitor the heat. And that's what I'm actually doing right now. I'm just monitoring the heat, making sure it stays at a constant heat for. Um, a long period of time. So probably in a few more days I will have that all figured out and everything. Um, but yeah, um, all the ledges and stuff have good traction for the leopard geckos. Um, it all looks really nice and um, can't wait to do a full video on this. Uh, I'll just kinda title this an update Oh, and before I forget, I need to do a shout-out for Herp Guy 101 
and he owes me some ball pythons. Yeah. He said I had to give him a shout out unless he wouldn't give me ball pythons. But yeah, you can obviously tell it has good traction. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, bye.